Hey, my name is Brent here on Cloudy with a Chance of Meeples. Today, we'll be taking a look at a legacy game that is designed and aimed towards kids, one that you can play with your kids or your kids can play just with them uh, by themselves. This is a spoiler-free review of Zombie Kids Evolution. Cue the thunder. Taking a look at the radar overview for Zombie Kids. Here we have it set up for three players. The other side of the board is for a two-player game. This is a cooperative game in which everybody is trying to defend their school from attacking zombies. Okay, so players win if they can get a lock on each one of these four entryways. And the team will lose if ever they're needing to put another zombie on the board. And this row of zombies is exhausted and there's no more to put on then the game will win so turns are real simple this is how you play on your turn you roll a die okay whatever color it shows that's what room you put a zombie in in this case it's white you don't add a zombie let's say this person is going first and then they move here be the next player's turn this guy he rolls a green you add a zombie into the green room then you can move one adjacent room and then you can eliminate up to two zombies in that room go to mr uh, ralph on the bike red he puts a zombie in there let's say he moves and uh, he moves there back to this player's turn yellow there we go and um, they're gonna move here and eliminate this zombie then back to that guy red uh oh there's two uh, maybe he'll move here and he'll eliminate two zombies. Okay, we'll set these up. Next guy, purple, he's going to put it here, but then he's going to move. Anytime you have two players in one of these entryways, they give each other a high five, and then they put a lock on there, and then they are that much closer to winning. Like I said, you win if you get all those um, locks put out. You lose if all the zombies are put on the board. I will say this, anytime you're in a room um, and there's three zombies in that room, you must leave. And then at the same time, you can never enter a room with three zombies. So that is how you play Zombie Kids. I will say this is a legacy game. I'm not gonna spoil anything because um, at the time of recording, we just started this. So um, you also get this uh, Zombie Hunter's Guide. It's got the rules. It's got a couple sheets of stickers. Uh, it's got some other stuff. That you'll open up which again i won't spoil anything it's got some missions and then after each game you put one of these little brain stickers on these uh circles as you do that anytime you get to one of these numbers you then open up that corresponding envelope there's 13 in the game and this will add more content to the game and just change the rules up and whatnot so that is pretty much the overview of zombie kids on to the final forecast Okay, so that is the radar overview for Zombie Kids Evolution. It's a pretty simple game when it comes to mechanics. You roll the die, you put a zombie on the color that's showing, you move your character around, try to eliminate zombies, try to get two people into an entryway, they high five, you put a lock on, and after you've done uh, all four of them, you win. So again, simple mechanics, but I have to say, my kids love this game. And as a dad who's wanting to get my kids into playing board games, this is an absolutely fantastic kids game. And the legacy aspect of it is just great because it just keeps the kids so engaged. For two weeks straight, my kids and I played this, specifically my son, who will be eight in a couple months. We played this almost 40 times in two weeks. And every day, he's just like, can we play it one more time? Let's play it one more time and then we're that much closer to opening up an envelope. And just that excitement of putting stickers on, on the back end, seeing that progression and then opening those envelopes and you know, and as you kind of gain um, or as you open more envelopes, my kid, he's a little bit of a smarty pants. So he started figuring out what, what was in some of those envelopes. Um, and, but, but when he did and when he got to that next step and opened it, he was pretty pumped. He, he ran around showing his mom and showing his sister who wasn't playing those games how excited he was for the next thing that he opened or that we opened together. 
like I said, mechanics, super easy. So that might be a little bit of, of a down thing for you and your kids. But for me and my kids, um, my son specifically, um, who I play most of this with, um, it was it was great. It was just a lot of fun. We had some incredibly fun highs, you know, rolling a certain thing or rolling a certain color, being able to pull off a move and then getting two people, you and your, you know, your, uh, your fellow players into entryway. I love that whole give that player a high five because I think every time we played this game, we were giving each other high fives because A, that's, that's what the rule says. And, and it just brings that, you know, cooperativeness, if that's a word, but it brings that cooperative uh, feel and excitement that you're winning together, you're losing together. And um, yeah, overall, this game is just an absolute blast to play. Simple mechanics, yes, but the excitement of what's next. We've played this about 40 times in, in two weeks, and there is a way for you to continue to play the game after you've opened all the envelopes. So I will say that this is a spoiler-free free review. I won't say anything more about the envelopes, but there is a way to continue playing the game. I will be curious to see if my son is continually excited to play the game after we've you know opened all the envelopes. But for the uh, the uh, the financial investment that I put into this game compared to the fun that I've had and the relationship building and that memory making that I've had with my kids is is far outweighs the minimal cost of this game. So it really is a good game. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, zombies, yay. This is like so 2010, um, <laughs> okay, maybe not. Zombies, they're still, they're still popular, not like they used to be. And I was a little hesitant with the theme because, you know, is it gonna be too scary for, for our kids? Our kids are, you know, almost five and almost eight. Is it gonna be too scary? And the theme, um, it works and it's it's done tastefully the graphic design work the the art and the images and all that stuff They're not scary. It's just light fun family feel to this game um, So if if the zombie theme kind of throws you off, I would say check it out anyways, this is a great legacy game and it just keeps that excitement uh, going throughout the throughout the place so if you have young kids I highly recommend this game. It really is that fun, specifically for the kids and just seeing your kids get involved and then, you know, doing those high fives and that exciting time of, man, we got this, or oh, are we gonna be able to do this, you know, and then, and then winning those games is just an absolute blast. So highly, highly, highly recommend Zombie Kids Evolution from Scorpion Mask. It's really that good of a game. I'm giving it a solid 90% chance of meeples gameplay or mechanics you know those are low you're rolling a die it's like a roll and move type thing um but as you play with your kids and that excitement that it brings that is why i'm giving this one a 90 percent chance meeples because it's really that good of a game my name is brent check us out on facebook cloudy with the chance meeples remember grab your umbrella the forecast is cloudy with the chance of meeples mm -hmm.